I think it's important that we remember the Anzacs because, I, in my opinion, it was those soldiers and their uh, feats on the battlefield that made Australia so respected throughout the world and made Australia great. It was a war um, to, to, to pre prevent the Japanese um, coming any further to attack Australia. Uh, that, that is worth remembering. And uh, traditionally, our, um, our children should be uh, informed of uh, Australian history to um, maintain these ideals. Mateship permeates army service. If you haven't got mates on whom you can rely, don't bother. It just won't work. When we were in Malaya, a number of troops were up in Port Dixon, where we had 18, 19, 20 battalions there. Now, all these units um, endeavoured to have sporting activities there. We had a, a football team. The mere fact that uh, they, they played football, Australian rules in Changi, was amazing when you think that you've just been taken prisoner. You don't know when you're going to get out or where you're going to live or what are you going to do but we still had the football. There's been a lot of talk about why should Essendon and Collingwood be the two teams picked on Anzac Day. Well, it's uh, traditional. And uh, for that point, I, I think that it's just one of those things that people look forward to. I think it's Australia's most important day. And I think we uh, celebrate it in the right way. We make due observance and solemn observance at the dawn service. We enjoy the march, seeing people who have participated in war. And then, not least, that famous game of football at the MCG to wrap it up for the day. It just fits in very nicely, I think. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old, Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. Lest we forget. <laughs>